Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing a game called Maze. This is a game about sentient corn, and I've been waiting to play it for about a year and a half now, so I'm glad it's finally out on December 1st. Let's go ahead and start a new game. I clicked it. I don't know if it worked. Okay, just kidding. I didn't click it, apparently. <laughs> um, it's going to be a weird game. I think there's like a robot teddy bear or something that is your sidekick. Uh, and other than that, I, I literally know nothing. The only thing I've seen is the trailer. It's a weird trailer, doesn't really tell you much. Shows you the corn, shows you the talking corn, but that's about it. There's, there's, there's the corn. There it went. All right. As you can see, the game looks beautiful. I, uh, I knew that. That's actually one of the reasons why I was interested in it, was because... the environments look so good. So, uh, here we are. Good. Let's look at this corn, man. There's a lot of it. This is the type of insightful commentary you can expect from my channel, if you're new. <laughs> Man, they could be anywhere. Were they spying on me just now? Were they were they drawing a dick on my face while I was asleep or what happened? I guess they were interested in the sleeping human. Huh. I wonder what this is for. Can I pick it up? There's an arrow and water. This is gonna be a weird game, guys. I know I've already said that, but I just want to hammer it home in case you you the 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 walking talking corn didn't tip you off. Open the door panel. So I need items to get into this area. Okay, I probably need to get a hand, <laughs> like an actual human hand. Uh, and then I don't know what's in for the other two slots. It says a key and a circular object. That could be pretty much anything. Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. They're right, right now. However, they might not always be right about that. Pressing Q might actually do something. I wouldn't put it past a game like this. All right, showing some of its uh, humor right away. That's cool. Click the left mouse button to pick up items when the grab icon appears. You did a great job picking up that item. A new path is open to you. Oh, all right. Items you can use will be added to your inventory. Story items will be added to your folio. How do I access my folio? I tab. There's no controls uh, screen. Okay, so I can scroll through to access my English muffin if I so desire. Press E to examine your equipped item for clues on how to use it. Hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption. Despite how much you try, all you've done is given yourself a headache. Well, we got a shitty muffin and a welcome note, which I don't really know how to read. Um, I'm pressing Q again. Uh, foolish, foolishly, does nothing. I'm trying to find how to access folio. Okay, P is pause. I knew that. I doesn't seem to do anything. And uh, what I just press. Oh, C is crouch. Okay. Tab doesn't do anything. Caps lock. Shift is run. I don't know. Apparently there's um something over here, but there's boxes in the way. Mega oranges. Uh, they're like regular oranges, but better. They're like transformer oranges. Press the space bar to look at story items in your folio. That is what I needed to, to see. 
A note, lazily scribbled, includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the reader to mind the boxes and also says, open the big door and we'll probably say hello. So there are 75 notes in this game, interesting. Lots to read. Lots of arrows, too. Getting some mixed messages here. What's this? Hang on! What we got here? And what is this? Broken shovel handle. Equip inventory items by using the scroll wheel. Okay. Can I only hold two at a time? They really don't want us to go to that uh, windmill over there. Who is this guy? Sorry. All right, well, I'll go into the house, I guess. So like, hang on. Completely useless for shoveling dirt, but helpful if you wanted to tip something over. You immediately think of the wardrobe on the second floor of the farmhouse because you didn't particularly like how it looked at you and would like to ruin its day. Well, I didn't know about the wardrobe, but I'll take your word for it, I guess. I don't think we can go in this way. There's a storm... Storm shelter. Okay. Can't get in there, either. Open the chicken coop door. What's in the chicken coop? No chickens, that's for damn sure. Oh, a key? Farmhouse key. Okay, good, we can hold more than two items. <laughs> I'm guessing this will let us in. Hopefully. Okay, when you see the place icon, you can use an item. We opened up the farmhouse. Guys. I'm in. That's my hacker voice. I don't know. I That was the best I could do. It's pretty close, right? Good. Good enough, I would say. Uh, can we flip these? No? I guess it's just gonna be dark in here, but that's fine. An invoice for a carved wooden statue. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large old oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital bills for injuries sustained, chopping down oak tree. They got to the first step at least. We'll explore the first floor before we go up to the second floor and apparently tip over the wardrobe. I'm not sure why we want to do that, but. Do it. A really boring mystery novel. Night Danger, a Mick Murphy mystery. Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. Ah. So he, he showed his hand on the first page, huh? I'd imagine that's the one thing you don't want to do when writing a mystery novel. Okay, I got a fruit crate. Despite what the name would suggest, this crate was specifically used to hold a large number of pine cones in order to start a collection. The collection currently sits at zero. We got a couple more items in here. What's this? A sausage grinder. Something is jammed inside. Could we possibly use it? Nah. Rancid corn oil. Though the smell is strong enough to overcome a herd of yaks, you could use it to loosen something you need to remove. For some reason, an image of a gloved hand pops into your head, leading directly to you walking straight into a wall. Man, this game's quirky. I don't mean to make fun of it, I'm just... You know me, I, I have to be kinda, kinda sarcastic. Nail clippers. Vigilant as you are when it comes to personal hygiene, the only two things these clippers will do for you are grip something lodged in a wall and give you a 100% tetanus guarantee. That's it. Okay, we got an old sink here, I guess. Maybe we use... So this... What I'm getting right away is that there's lots of inventory puzzles. Tons of them. 
This particular plug fits perfectly into the bathroom sink on the first floor of the farmhouse. It is also a talking plug, but due to a bad case of laryngitis, you will never know that. <laughs> Alright, so we, we plug up the sink. The sink is now plugged. I'm wondering if, like, we'll have some sort of pipe puzzle where a key comes out through the water. I bet it's something like that. So, uh, well said, I had nail clippers. Can I get whatever it is out of the sausage grinder? It said that I could get something lodged in the wall, so I thought maybe it would also apply to the, the sausage grinder, but I guess not. You want me to crouch? You can do this forever. You mean like this? A concealed switch. Unlocked secret door, making it much less secret. We did what? Holy crap, guys. So that's why they had the hint for the, the crouch. Oh, and this goes up out of the storm shelter. Opened the cellar doors. Awesome. So, uh, what is there down here? There's this, a fuse box, missing a fuse. So we gotta find a fuse for the fuse box, I guess. Man, this is a, uh, this is like straight up an adventure game. I wasn't quite expecting that. Like, um, this reminds me of like a point and click format type of game. Like the, the humor and everything. And all the tooltips about all the items and the inventory puzzles. It's cool. Is that something about a wardrobe on the second floor? I don't think it's in this room. Hang on, there's something here. Bobby pin. Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point and didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. That, that's not true. Time has not passed that much. Okay, what? So we gotta find something locked. I'm sure we can find a use for all of these items. Okay, what's this? An item can be placed here. Okay, so like, like the fruit crate? And then you wanted me to tip wardrobe over with the broken shovel handle. And what, what did that do? Oh, it gave us access to this side of the, okay, to so the attic and everything. Gotcha. So it did, it did do something. There's another room over there. Let's go upstairs, I guess. I'm not sure why we put the fruit basket there. But I guess maybe we'll find out. And look at the gnome. Mallet. Smash something perfectly flat with this trusty tool. But remember, you can never unflatten things with this. It is the mallet's greatest weakness. That, that, that is a, a fairly large weakness. An item can be placed here. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure. Not the English muffin, that's for sure. Oh, look at these. We got some experiments here. Look at these carrots. And then the turnip, I guess. Look, they look like people. So there's some sort of like human vegetable experimentation here, which I think is really interesting. Kind of might explain why we have the walking, talking corn. It might. Oh, wow. It's a nice view. Let's, uh... Let's look around for more items to collect. Which I am very interested in. This doesn't appear to be something you can open. I do have a bobby pin that you'd think I'd be able to use to unlock these, but... A burnt lap report. Okay. Much of it can't be read but the words abject failure appear several times. 
So does Hurt Feelings, Sentient Cornstalks, and Why Did We Do This? <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay, well... I wonder what can be placed here. Not a bobby pin, not nail clippers, not rancid corn oil. I wonder what I used the mallet with. If I'm supposed to smash something... Smash something up with that. Yeah, like I said, no idea why I had, I had the fruit basket out. Very odd. Very, very odd. Maybe the bobby pin can be used to fish whatever it is out of the sausage uh, grinder. Should try that. I think we're I think we're good up here for now. There doesn't appear to be anything else I can do at the moment. So yeah, I'll go back downstairs. Why not? We've explored the house plenty. All right, let me see. Let me just see if I can. Something is jammed inside. I'm guessing that the mallet won't be able to do anything. This is what you tend to do in adventure games. You tend to cycle through your inventory and try everything. <laughs> okay, so we plugged up the sink. I'm not so sure that that does anything interesting. And we're done with things down here from what I remember. We need to get, we need to find a fuse. And I'm not exactly sure where that would be. But we're back outside. There's a chicken coop out here. We'll look around to the chicken coop. Don't see anything to pick up or anything to interact with. We'll go this way. We haven't we haven't been down this far. No matter how many times you press it, Q still does nothing. That seems like a hint, though. That seems like a tremendous hint. A rusty nail jammed in the wall. Ooh, we can get it out with the nail clippers. Pulled rusty nail out of wall with nail clippers. But what's the rusty nail good for? For some reason, the first thing that pops in your head is that it would be a good conductor of electricity. Possibly as a fuse. You are very strange. As a fuse? A mediocre rock. This is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It is absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. The quirk. The quirk is blinding. Don't look directly at the quirk. No, it's uh... I mean, I, I like this game so far. It's cool. Wish it had a bit more sentient corn in it at the moment, but I realize that we're very early in the process. Okay, I'm gonna go put this as a fuse, I guess, since it seemed to really think that that would work. Use rusty nails as a fuse against safety regulations, okay? Restored power to farmhouse. It is slightly less dark than it was before. I wonder if this means that I'll be able to find more objects or maybe maybe it does more than just light it up a bit. You got to think that doing that would would give more of a benefit than just Oh yeah, here we go. A CD player. Open CD player. You picked up a CD. Good for you. A new path is open to you, to the barn and silo. An old CD, its label faded. Pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created, this brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest of symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music shop. Well, that doesn't sound like something I'd like to listen to. Okay, so the CD player. Before we move on, I want to see if anything else has opened up for us. Because this room was incredibly dark before. Now we can kind of see around. 
but there isn't really anything in there that I can interact with. I do like that, um, oh wow, there's lots of interesting stuff out there that we, we gotta go check out. I do like that uh, things will light up if you can interact with them, that's very helpful. Very, very helpful, okay. I think we're good. So I'm just gonna move on. If we get stuck, I'll come back. Do we go this way? I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we do. I'm hoping, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I mispronounce things. Hold the shift key to sprint. No, man, I get it. So, great kidney care. If you're stuck, remember to press E to examine your equipped item for clues. Okay, so they 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 care about kidneys here, huh? I'll remember that. Hey, I care about kidneys too. I think I think most people do. Okay, here we go. Here's something. A book titled Corn of the World. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Hmm. That's very interesting. So somebody around here not only cared about kidneys, they also cared about corn. That's adorable. Up oh, a broom. There's a pile of something or other you can sweep up with this, but you already knew that. What you didn't know was that this broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way, as the ghost is currently away on business. Oh, get pumped. All right. Oh, I was hoping that there was like a... Ah, like a hole there that I could crouch into. That would be fun. Have like a little hay fort, you know? Okay, we got something else here. One half of a diagram. A diagram, torn in half, contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen, a drawing of a person, and a DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. Apparently I'm just like the world's strangest person. Oh! There's a glove here. Remember? Oh, I saw these boots and I, I thought it was a person standing there. The glove though. It looks like it's stuffed with hay. Look, look at that stuff coming out of it. It's like it's a scarecrow glove. But we did have that uh, weird shed area earlier. I just tried to jump on these boxes. I'm an idiot. And it said, uh, it had like that hand imprint. So we got question mark, bad, and good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay, I think we're good here. I don't think I missed anything. Hopefully I didn't. We'll go around the back though. There's there's more to explore. I keep pressing Q every now and then. I'm hoping it reprimands me for it. Can I go through the corn? No. No, it doesn't let you do that. Kinda makes sense. Let's check things out over here, though. Okay, the lock, a padlock. Well, we do have a bobby pin for this, though. Ooh, we unlocked the padlock. No, this is very, very good. Very, very good. Let's open the silo door. What is it? A pile of corn kernels. Do we sweep it up? Cleared pile of corn kernels with broom, and there is 
a needle nose plier underneath. You saw something in that sausage grinder that could be removed with these pliers. You know this because you spent an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no progress whatsoever. An old telescope. Hang on. A weathered, tattered blueprint. Though it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility with a farm situated on top of it. Interesting. Underground, huh? The facility itself actually set an architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. But <laughs> It says, why did we build all of this on the blueprint? The largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. Even more than Silent Hill? That's a lot of corridors that lead nowhere. I did what? Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees. I thought it was going to say its range is the tops, like slang. Um, possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. I'm glad I'm carrying this around with me. Okay, so we, we know we gotta go back for the sausage grinder with the needle nose pliers. I'm wondering if there's anywhere else we can go right now. Cause like, we can go this way, might as well since we're out here. And stop pressing Q. I was pressing Q. I actually was, that's kind of funny. Whoa! This person was electrocuted. They got a hand. They got a hand. They got a hand. They got a hand. Gloved, severed hand. A severed hand, perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy. Oh, I see what you did there. If you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended, but not the second. Oh. Okay. So... We gotta get the glove off. Okay, we got a toolbox. Interesting that there's a stalk of corn here. Doesn't look like the sentient kind, though. A very fashionable fedora. That's not true. A very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head, as you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name. Fernando. Okay, so we got this weird contraption. It's like he transferred his conscience into a stalk of corn, maybe. A charred name tag. It took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag, in fact, belongs to the dead person it was near, and that his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize you were trying to read the, the thing upside down the whole time. Wow. This person that we're playing as is, is not the brightest. Okay, so there's another way this way, but it's currently blocked. Interesting. I wonder what the significance of the orange boxes is. You'd think it would be something, you know? Okay, let's go all the way back to the farmhouse. See if we can get something out of that sausage grinder. Ooh, 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 wait, 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 wait. There might be something over here. There's a tractor. Oh yeah, there's definitely something over here, right? I mean, maybe not definitely. More boxes, okay. Yeah, there's, uh... There's nothing going on there. I thought maybe there would be. This kind of reminds me a bit of, like... The vanishing of Ethan Carter... In some ways. Small ways. Not just because it has spectacular looking environments, but... Obviously, it's a lot sillier than that game. So far. We haven't even encountered the robot teddy bear. I only mentioned that because... I mean, it's, it's, in, the, it's in the launch trailer, so... 
Um, let's see. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So... Here we go. Pulled warped key fob out of the sausage grinder. Not an ideal place for it. Um, sorry, not that. This warped key fob would be useful if you could flatten it back to its original shape. At first you tried to do this by staring very hard at it. It didn't work, so you set out to find a tool that would do the job much better. Well, um, I do have something that would do that, a mallet. So we got, we got a, a key, which I think opens up that bunker that we saw earlier. We also have the severed hand, which I think also fits. And then it's circular, there's like a circular thing. I hope that's not for the English muffin, you know. Hope not. But um, I'm, I'm also wondering what we do with this old sink. Like a... Do you think... Because I was thinking we put the old key fob in there, but... Poured rancid corn oil in sink. The smell is worse than imagined. Okay, so... Loosened glove from severed hand. Slightly disgusting. I... Okay, so we have... We have the severed hand now. Once you manage to tear away from giving yourself an unending stream of high fives with this hand, you may want to find an actual use for it. And it's not to start another round of high fives. I know what we're going to use the severed hands for. I would like to... Pound out this warped key fob. Okay, good. I I'm glad we figured out what to do with the sink, because that was driving me crazy. Um, as for what to do with the rest of these items... Yeah, I'm not... I'm not real sure yet. <sighs> I can't believe I forgot about this. Okay, here we go. Put it there, and then we get the mallet. Key fob has been smashed good and flat. Key fob has been smashed so perfectly flat that you can't help but toss it like a frisbee to see how far it goes. You regret your decision immediately. So, I figured it out. We have the severed hand. The circular object is the old CD. And I still have the English muffin for whatever reason. I, I wouldn't put it past uh, the developers to just have us keep the English muffin for the entire game. Or maybe at least until like a final puzzle type of deal. Okay, so. We have... Got everything we need, so we're gonna head back to the vault. Alright, also, who are we, right? I wonder if we're corn. What if we're corn, guys? We could be. Okay, here we go. Well, bam, and well, bam, and bam. I'm really excited. must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> a doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm riddle president today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Why is he oh, president right, every time? I did been a vote for him on the election. Oh, he should yes, 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 that. <coughs> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? That's a Am I riddle. Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. The last one? What? Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. 